Hello everybody, this is Garrett. Welcome to my Borderlands 3 Google Stadia review. Hell yeah, homie. All right, welcome to my Google Stadia Borderlands 3 review, long overdue. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Google, the Borderlands 3 port on Google Stadia, like I said earlier. I'm going to talk about graphics, gameplay, how it runs on Stadia, if there's any lag or anything. You will know at the by the end of this video. The original game was released on September 13th, 2019. The Google Stadia port was released on December 3rd. The game got a Metacritic score of 81% on, on the PC. However, there is no Metacritic score for Google Stadia. When the game launched in December, it launched outdated. That means in December, you got the October patch. So you paid full price for the game and it was already outdated and the first DLC was released but you couldn't play it because your game was outdated and they wanted you to buy the season pass. So that's not Google Stadia's fault, that's Gearbox's fault. So just keep that in mind. If I were Google, I wouldn't have allowed that bullshit. So the graphics of the game, the game runs at 60 FPS, 1080p on the browser because the browser does not support anything above 1080p. If you run the game on the Chromecast Ultra, it runs beyond 1080p. However, the game will lock at 30 FPS. So if you want 60 FPS on a, on the game, I recommend locking the, frame, the resolution to 1080p. However, when I was playing the game, I noticed a lot of stuttering. So especially when I was playing as Zane, when I did a lot of special moves or your specials, the game stuttered a lot. Just keep that in mind. This port honestly feels like the console port. You know how it locks at 30 FPS and stuttering. Don't get me wrong, all like all versions of this game have performance issues. This game is not very well optimized even on powerful PCs. So it that's not Stadia's fault. However, I'm just reporting the facts here. So this is what the performance you'll get on Stadia. Let's talk about the story. The story is absolutely trash. The antagonists are annoying as hell. They're trying to be edgy streamers that just turned out to be annoying. I feel that Handsome Jack did a better job being the antagonist in Borderlands 2. I felt like Handsome Jack had a purpose. I don't feel like the Calypso Twins has a purpose. And so... As far as the story goes, I think the story is just very disappointing. I honestly just turned down the story, don't listen to it, and just listen to podcasts. Speaking of podcasts, I stream my podcast every Tuesday and Thursday, so go ahead and watch that on my channel. We do this on Discord now, because Hector finally got his stuff. So, and we're going to have a guest this week. So keep your eyes out for that, and yeah, just I just don't enjoy the story at all. As far as the gameplay, the gameplay is very good. I feel that the game, I feel that the game, um, it feels like Borderlands, th Borderlands through and through. So if you played Borderlands 2, you know what to expect with Borderlands 3. The gunplay is really good. The shooting is, is spot on. You know, the guns now have different firing modes. So it depends on what brand gun you get. Expect different firing modes. Expect... Guns that would just explode after you reload and expect a lot of guns. So the co-op has improved. You get the old classic co-op where you have to share your loot. So you have to fight over your loot. And there's a new mode where you can actually get items and weapons pertaining to you only. And the other person doesn't get to see it. So if you're into that, that's actually pretty cool. And in that mode, you can actually... Have a high level character play with a low level character and the enemies scale to match the um the level so it feels like you know one doesn't get you know an advantage over the other so it doesn't really matter you know what level you are as long as you two are having fun speaking of co-op there's no one playing on stadia so you actually have to party up with people on like discord or like forums and stuff 
good luck trying to get randoms to join you you will not do that so because stadia has such a low player base already so good luck getting people to actually join your game randomly so okay what do i think of the game i don't recommend it i give it a thumbs down or low rating if i were to give games number scores or low stars if i give game stars or golden bananas the main reasons why is just the game does not perform good especially on stadia and it also doesn't perform well on pc either the platform that i play the most on so the story is very disappointing do not like the direction where they the direction of the story how they went there the gameplay is good, but I can't recommend a game just based on the gameplay. So let me know what you guys think of my review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And join me on Console Gaming Radio every Tuesday and Thursday. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, homies. See ya.